Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on solving quadratic inequalities involving a division by a positive algebraic expression. So we've got this algebraic expression and we've got this division, this fraction involving a division by x squared plus 1. It's an algebraic expression, isn't it? Now, in general, when we have fractions in equations or inequalities, we kind of want to get rid of the fractions to make the equation or inequality simpler. So our instinct usually would be to multiply through by whatever we have here, to multiply both sides of the inequality by x squared plus 1. Now, you do have to be slightly careful with inequalities because if you multiply both sides by a negative number, it actually reverses the direction. For example, if I had, say, that, uh, well, minus 3 is less than 4, that's clearly true. Negative 3 is less than 4, isn't it? If I was to multiply both sides of the inequality by minus 1, the minus 3 becomes plus 3, and the 4 becomes minus 4. And it's no longer true that 3 is less than minus 4, because 3 is actually bigger than minus 4. So just be careful. If you times both sides by a negative number, it actually reverses the direction of the inequality. Now, that's not going to be a problem here. And the reason we know that is because x squared plus 1, we can guarantee is positive. Because anything squared is going to be positive. If you have a negative number squared, it becomes positive. If you have a positive number squared, it becomes positive. 0 squared is 0. It's always going to be positive. And that means we can safely multiply both sides of the inequality by x squared plus 1 and not worry about the direction of that inequality changing like it has done here. So that's going to make this much simpler. I'm going to multiply the 2 by the x squared plus 1. I'm just going to leave it in brackets for the moment. 2 multiplied by the x squared plus 1, greater than. And when I multiply by the x squared plus 1, you're just left with a 5x. And now we've got rid of the fractions. We're a bit happier. Now what do we do now? We want to get 0 on one side. And we also want to expand out any brackets that we have. So uh, let's expand up the brackets. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times the 1 is plus 2 and we've got the greater than 5x. We need 0 on one side, so we want to have 0 here. We're going to subtract 5x from both sides. So we want the x squared term first, then we want the x term, so minus 5x, and then what we call the constant term, the non-x term. So it should be x squared, then x term, then the number term. And we subtract 5x from this, 5x minus 5x is just 0. So now we've got a much more convenient form. Once we got it in this form, where 0 is on one side, as we saw in previous videos, we factorise. So I'm going to just do this one in my head. Um, we know they're probably going to start with 2x and x, because they expand to give the 2x squared term. And what two numbers multiply to give 2? Well, it can only be 1 and 2, or it can be negative 1 and negative 2. Well, I think it's going to have to be the negative ones, otherwise we're not going to get this minus 5x. So I'm going to guess it's this way around. These two numbers here in expansion will give you the plus 2. But then also look, in terms of the x terms, 2x times minus 2, that's minus 4x, minus another 1x, that will give you, in the expansion, minus 5x. So this is right. And then what do we do next? We sketch the quadratics. We sketch... Um, so we're going to sketch specifically this. So we're going to sketch y equals 2x minus 1, x minus 2. And then we explore this in previous videos, and particularly look at my videos about how to sketch a quadratic. But the quick way of doing it is we want to get the x-intercepts, so also known as the roots. And the quick way of doing that is if you negate that value here at the end of the bracket, the minus 1 becomes plus 1, and you divide by the number in front of the x. So it's plus 1 over 2. So it's 1 over 2. So we get this x-intercept, a root of half. And we also negate this one, the minus 2 becomes plus 2, 2 over 1, because it's 1x, 2 over 1 is just 2, so we also get a root of 2. And then we know when we sketch a quadratic, it's going to give you a smiley face shape, if it's a positive quadratic, we get that. And then finally, we reason about our sketch. Now we sketched y equals this, which is this thing here. So the y value, this is the y value of your sketch, the y value is greater than 0. Where on this graph is the y value greater than 0? Well, we can see the y value is greater than 0 here, and the y value on the graph is greater than 0 here. So what can we say about this part of the line? Because we're trying to solve for x, aren't we? Any part of this line, the x value is less than half. So the x value is less than half. Or 
we're on this side of the graph, so the x value in any part of this graph here is greater than 2. So x is greater than 2, and that is the final answer. <laughs>